Good day everyone. Before we start, let us pray first. Lord Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your word, O oh God. Thank you for this blessing, Skino. Thank you, Father God, for your goodness to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Today, we are celebrating our college day with a theme, Thriving and Blessed with God's Mercy and Grace. First, let's talk about God's Mercy and Grace. In Exodus chapter 34 verse 6, the word of God says that the Lord passed before Moses and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. It means that He is a merciful and gracious God na nagpapatawad sa kasamaan at maging sa makasalanan. The God's mercy and grace are two sides of the same coin. The mercy is that attribute of God that is seen when God withholds the punishment our sins deserves. Mercy is God's readiness to relieve the suffering of His creatures. As we can see, the mercy of God displayed in Genesis, the whole chapter 3. The God's grace is a God's favor freely given to those who do not deserve it. It means it's not ask for nor deserve but is freely given the mercy of God and the grace of God go hand in hand these attributes reveal God to be unique and unparalleled among us just like the parable of the good Sam Samaritan, he showed his love, mercy, and compassion to others because he has shown love, mercy, and compassion to us. That is why we must continue in thriving because the mercy and grace of God is always upon us. We must not to be worried in continuing thriving because He always, always pour out His mercy and grace to us. God is full of mercy and grace. He is full of love and compassion. That is why we must never stop, stop in driving because the love and the mercy and also the love and compassion of God is upon on us. So let us pray. Lord, Father God, thank you for your word that you are given to us. Thank you, Father God, because your mercy and grace to us and your love and your compassion to us is always in our. Thank you, Father God, that you are always there for us. We cannot do whatever else without your help to us. Thank you, Father God. You will bless this word of yours. In mighty name, Jesus.